Jasmine Paolini versus Alina Rabakina is the second match for the WTA Finals for 2024. Both players have had different seasons to get to this stage. Alina Rabakina enters the tournament as the number five in the world and has only ever played this tournament once. That was last year where she couldn't get out of the round robin stage, but she did lose a deciding match to Sabalenka. And had she had won that match, she would have gone into the semis. So a little bit unlucky last time. Her record this year is 41 wins, nine losses. And that's pretty impressive considering she hasn't played that much. And that also includes three titles on the season as well. Her best win was against Igor Fiontek earlier in the year on the clay courts of Stuttgart. However, her worst loss was actually at the very start of the year in Australia, where she lost a blink of her in a shock result early in that tournament. Her form lately hasn't been good. We haven't seen much of her since playing at Wimbledon due to a lot of off-court stuff and injuries as well. She's kind of coming in here untested because we haven't seen her play that many matches. Pellini into the tournament as number four in the world, which is a career-high ranking for her after an awesome season. This will be her first time playing the WTA Finals in the singles. She's also playing in the doubles as well. And she's the only player in the eight that is having to play doubles and singles this time around. Her record this year, 39 wins and 18 losses, which included two Grand Slam finals. But she's only won the one title. Of course, that was in Dubai to start the season. And that really drew everyone's attention to her. And then, of course, after that, playing well on clay and grass. So she's had a really, really good season and probably should get more than one title to prove that. Her best win was against Rabakina at Roland Garros. Very, very impressive win there. Her worst loss, however, was against Sharif in the second round of Rome just before she went on that French Open run. So going into that French Open, she actually didn't have much form. She lost to Sharif before going on that run in Roland Garros. Her form lately, though, hasn't been super great. She's had a couple of strange losses here and there, but we know how tenacious she is and how much she's going to fight for every point against the players in her group. They still played four times before with a head-to-head split down the middle, 2-2, including two matches this year, which went the distance However, both of those were on the clay courts, so a little bit slower, maybe giving Paolini a little bit more of a chance against Rabakina's game, but we're running into a hard court now, and if the conditions are fast, Paolini's defense has got to be good. If Rabakina's going to win this one, just serve well and hit those ground strokes well as well. She hasn't been playing much lately, so she's probably going to be a little bit rusty in this matchup against somebody who's been very active this year, not just in singles, but also in doubles, so she's got to serve well, and she has to make Paolini move as much as possible. Paolini's going to win this one, she's get everything back. If there is a little bit of rust from Rabakina, Paolini's going to make Rabakina hit as many shots as possible today and try and frustrate her because of course if Rabakina doesn't get the winner straight away she can sometimes overhit so Helene's just got to defend 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 especially if the courts are far this matchup has been so fun to watch this year and now we get on a hard court it's gonna be really interesting to see how Rabakina is in her comeback after not playing much but I have to go with Paolini in this one in three I reckon Paolini might get the upset just because Rabakina hasn't played enough and Paolini's been very active over the last couple of months let me know down in the comments below who's winning this matchup